Hello, I am Ali Mohammadi and I am your instructor in this course. Welcome to this course. As you already know, the course name is Reservoir Study for Development Plan. I'm going to give you a series of videos about this topic and at the end, you will be familiar with the reservoir modeling and characterizations, reservoir stimulation, reservoir heterogeneity, reservoir drive mechanism, the division of the layer series, development, and finally, you will be familiar with the reservoir study during development stages. So let's just jump into the course. What is the your first question? I can say your first question may be what is the reservoir development? Okay, now let's talk about the reservoir development a little more. So what is the definition of reservoir development? Reservoir development is a comprehensive multidisciplinary engineering on the underground oil as gas reservoir, which are concealed objects. So what does it mean? Let's talk about this a little more. Well, uh first it says multidisciplinary engineering. So what does it mean? Multidisciplinary. It means that it contains most of the engineering uh, aspects and most of the engineering area. You can find too many different things from different science, different engineering inside the petroleum engineering. You can find from chemical engineering, you can find from mechanical engineering, and you can find from geology as well, uh, even so it's not engineering. Too many different things just combined together. Uh, and it's just we use them, we basically use them for reservoir development. The second word that may be important is concealed objects. As you know, that reservoir is underground, maybe two or three kilometers underground. So you can actually see what's going on on the ground. And it's kind of concealed. So you're talking about something that is hidden, something, something that is concealed. So let's talk about a little more. I think I should talk more about uh, these sentences. These sentences uh, can the kind of telling us that uh, when the reservoir is going to be developed for production, there are lots of uncertainty which is not known. Reservoir development plan makes these unknown objects revealed and give us uh, the path to our better or recovery and production with this particular reservoir. So we have some concealed objects and reservoir development help us to reveal these objects and to study better and to understand better and as a result we have a better oil production. Now here's the question, how can we conduct a development plan on a reservoir? What should we consider? Description, interpretation and development plan on a reservoir can only be conducted based on the various data which may come from seismic survey, geology, well logging, monitoring and daily wave performance. So let's talk about uh, this a little more. Now we know that if we want to do the reservoir development plan, we need data. Without data, we cannot do it. If you want to reveal the concealed objects, if you want to know what's going underground, we need data. Without data, it's impossible. Bear in mind that all the engineering design should be in connection with the reservoir geological characteristic as well as the economic and geographic surface condition. Well, if you want to uh, design something, you should pay attention to the reservoir geologic characteristic and the uh, geographic surface condition. So what does it mean? It means that sometimes you have a good design, but it's not possible, it's not available. The geographic location cannot let you, uh, do not let you to do it. For example, you want to do uh, some uh, IOR or some EOR, you need water, you need some kind of chemical, and the chemical is not available, so that, that design is not good. So, it's so important uh, to just not only consider the just reservoir itself, we should consider other aspects as well. And also economic, sometimes you design something, it's very good, very good design, well done, but, but, but it's not economically acceptable. So we need to understand, to uh, consider all the aspects. Well, uh, all of the things I just said is just kind of introduction. In the next video, I'm going to talk about reservoir modeling and characterization. And together, we start to learn how to do the reservoir development plan.